to the thanks Ivan. Uh, so that is like the rightmost range. Move over a bit, like yonder, yonder, yonder. Okay, stop, stop. A little bit right, right more. This is about center, and move left more. My left, my left. <laughs> uh, more left. That is about the extent to where you can walk. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Whenever you're ready. Denver oh, sorry, has Colorado become oh. a reliably boosted? <laughs> there once was a great pirate captain, and he was known for being able to evade ships that are up on, on, on our attack. So then one day, his first mate comes running up to him, crying, Captain, Captain, we're under attack. In which the captain responds, No worries, tell the man to man the ship and go and grab me my red shirt. The first mate grabs him that, his red shirt, and that day they had a glorious victory. Later, the first mate asks him, Captain, why did you ask me to hand you, you your red shirt? And which the captain responds, That way, if I get injured, none of you guys will notice and you'll keep on fighting. A few weeks pass, and his first mate comes running up to the captain again, shouting, Captain, Captain, we're under attack by a dozen fleets. In which case, the captain says, Go and grab me my brown pants. <laughs> in the past few years, the Republican Party has been grabbing their red pants, brown pants in response to the actions of some of the Colorado state legislator policies, which were relatively liberal. Some of the most popular ones, which we all know, is that of legalizing marijuana use under some circumstances. However, going beyond just marijuana use, we find that Colorado has taken relatively liberal policies as a state which was traditionally recognized as a swing state or a purple state. It's now shifting more towards the blue. Therefore, as we're asked the question today, has Colorado become a reliably blue state? We see the answer is the most definite yet, and we'll look toward three key points. First off, we'll examine some of the policies that Colorado state legislatures have recently passed that are more towards the left. Then we'll go on to examine how the legislator, as well as the governor, and many other key positions are all held by Democratic politicians. Finally, we'll look into the future to see how Colorado will indeed continue this more liberal trend in the future. As we look towards the past few weeks, we find that Colorado has passed several very liberal legislation. We'll look towards that in the case of gun control, gay marriage, as well as immigration policy. In the case of gun control, as reported by a Reuters article from March 12th of this month year, it's noted how Colorado passed a gun legislation policy that has been most notable, especially because the state, which has been dominated by those with hunting traditions, to go on to have such liberal policies. But in addition to that, within six days of that passage, it, an article from the Christian Science Monitor from the 13th of this month also notes that Colorado has legalized civil unions between individuals of the same sex. This is really significant because this makes Colorado only the eighth state to have a, that within the union, and there's only nine states plus the big District of District of Columbia who have legalized gay marriage. This is a very significant policy for a state that has traditionally been considered that of a more moderate or purple state and clearly demonstrates that Colorado indeed is moving towards the more liberal side. But furthermore, we can also look towards policy related to immigration policy. Specifically, the state of Colorado has granted that illegal immigrant students can receive in-state tuition. This is a major move once again towards the more liberal side of things. So in regards to policy, definitely the state of Colorado is considered extremely liberal in regards to the policy they've recently passed. We can also see how this is true when looking towards the politicians within the state, which are largely that of, that of controlled by Democrats. In fact, according to a Denver Post article from today, it notes how within the state of Colorado, since 2006, all major elections have been won by Democrats, 
whether it's at the federal level for senators, House of Repres most House of Representatives, as well as for President Obama, but also on the state level, where out of six of the, of the eight years, we see that within Colorado it's up to itself, all of the branches of the legislature have been controlled by Democrats. Furthermore, the article goes to note how this trend will most likely continue. One of the biggest reasons why for the significant shift towards the left is the demographic change within the state of Colorado and how the, Demo the Democratic Party especially appeals to voters of Latino and women groups which have significantly benefited Democrats and alienated the Republican Party. But moving forward, we see that this trend will continue not only in regards to policies as well as future elections. In fact, looking back at the same Denver Post article, it goes on to explain how in the 2004 election, most likely the governor, a Democrat, will win the election since there's no other challenger who stands much of a chance. Similarly, Senator, I really can't pronounce his name, is also most likely going to win because of no major challenges. But let's go ahead and look at to the state level of positions, in which the article says that the House will be secured once again by liberals. But there is a possibility that the Senate within the House, the state Senate, may be challenged by that of Republicans who may rally most conservatives, but especially in light of some more liberal policies. However, the article goes on to explain that this will be a difficult move because the Republicans lack unity and a clear position as to what direction the party is headed to. And most likely, Colorado will remain largely Democratic. Furthermore, we can look towards the policies within Colorado, the, the state, and how these policies will continue on towards this more liberal trend. After making major successes in regards to gay marriage as well as gun rights, we see that Colorado are pursuing further more liberal policies. Among these policies include that of putting in, uh, more restrictions on oil drilling as well as putting more better standards for renewable energy usage. Other policies that have been listed on the agenda that the Democrats plan to work on include that in regards to education reform, which will in result in a $1 billion increase in tax hikes, according to the Denver Post article mentioned earlier. Furthermore, the state also looks to expand its Medicaid policy within its state. All of these very liberal policies, which goes on to indicate how Colorado plans to continue its move and staying in its position of more liberal policies. So indeed, at the end of the day, when re-examining the question, we find that Colorado has now become a lively blue state. Not only have they made significant policies that are leaning more towards the left, but in regards to the demographic of the state in general and looking towards the future, we find that they will continue to maintain a more liberal position. And ultimately, the Republicans, rather than simply panicking and relying on the pairs of brown pants, must come up with an alternative strategy or reframe their party. Otherwise, they'll need to stock up 